What's up, everybody? It is DJ Nico. You're tuned into the King Nico podcast. What's good? I hope everyone is doing good. I'm doing pretty good myself. Today, I want to discuss Wendy Williams. She has been sick, everyone, and she's been dealing with some health issues. And unfortunately, she was hospitalized. And at this point, she's going to be taking a break from the Wendy Williams show, unfortunately. Um, I would like to say, if Wendy Williams, if you're listening, get well soon. I'm praying for you. And I hope everything gets better for you. Um, I know that's tough for her because she loves being a host, and she's in love with the media. She's a fan of all types of music and art and many people. So it's unfortunate that, you know, she has to take an extended break. She has some health issues again, and um, she has immune system disorder. And unfortunately, um, she's she spent some significant time in the hospital and unfortunately, at this point, she's going to be taking some time off. So I want to wish Wendy Williams a great time for resting. And I hope that she gets well soon. God bless you. So, Russell, there's been a lot of crazy stuff that's been going on in the media, especially with this Damon Dash, Nick Cannon, Jay-Z, R. Kelly situation. Unfortunately, you know, I'm a fan of Damon Dash, as you can see. I'm, I'm definitely on his side, and I'm biased when it comes to, you know, certain things. So, from my understanding of the situation and the situations, I don't think that Dame have done anything wrong at I, again, am a fan of his, and not just because of what he's done for hip-hop, but what he have done for so many of people. And unfortunately, he is being basically, cro- cr- like, cr- people are throwing stones at him. He's being crossed like by people that really don't know the situation, that opinions are irrelevant you know a lot of people are speaking from being like a a hatred person people like from a hatred person like Flunk Flex you know who I I mean I I like Flunk Flex I like a lot of them so I'm like torn in between you know a lot of them and at the same time I'm I'm definitely um on Dane Dash side I I love Jay-Z by the way I love Flex, unfortunately, you know, a lot of them are going back and forth. I love Nick Cannon. So all these guys are my guys, you know. I'm a fan of all of them. And, you know, I'm going to have to take the high road, and I'm going to have to say that I, I I agree with Dame Dash as far as, like, I think he really cares about people. I think that a lot of people have did him wrong as far as, like, just being able to witness everything, as far as, like, from the top to the bottom and just doing my research and, you know, being within the walls of the hip-hop industry to an extent. Like, I see a lot that's going on, and I see people that, you know, that says, you know, oh, I'm on this guy's side, and they speak good on him, and then, you know, when someone else is talking whatever they're talking like they switch up. It's like you always had that hatred for him or you always was trying to downplay what he's done and who he is and trying to crucify him for basically nothing. Like I don't I don't see anything that he did wrong. You know, like he's admitted to everything that he did wrong. Like, you know, he admitted to what he done as far as like with the Fiesta video with Jay Z and, and R. Kelly and people you know, feel that the need to comment and to threaten him and to assassinate his character, unfortunately. And I feel like a lot of people are just talking too much. 
like the ones that talk too much are the ones that are going to eventually regret doing something. You know, you shouldn't disrespect someone just to, to defend someone else, especially if it's not true. Like, I, I'm not going to discuss that. Like, we all got people that, you know, have done wrong and we love them, you know, period. Like, you know, a lot of people, you know, that's in jail right now. They have family that love them, that care about them, girls that love them, that care about them. But that doesn't change what they did. That was wrong. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, yes, we do wrong. Yes, things happen. Le- yes, certain things shouldn't happen. Some things should never happen, period. And nobody could, you know, change that. Like, you can't make an excuse if someone's wrong. Like, if they're wrong, they're wrong. No matter how you feel about it, no matter how I feel about it, wrong is wrong, right is right. And when you're wrong, you're wrong, period. There's no changing that. There's no taking away from it. You got to be strong and you got to hold yourself accountable for the things that you do and the things that you say. And we must continue to understand that nobody is above the law. Nobody is better than the next one. Now, we all have gifts. You know, somebody, you know, have a, a different gift than me I have a different gift than someone else you know I, I like to use this analogy like you know everybody for example a car is a gift so everybody have a car right but some people have Chevys and some people have Porsches you know like Porsches are a decent cars they're, they're nice cars Chevys are decent but they're not you know as extravagant as a Porsche or you can Put put it in another way. It could be a, a Ferrari or a Lamborghini. But, you know, everyone has a gift. So, unfortunately, you know, stuff happened and some, some stuff shouldn't happen. It do. And that's why there's laws to govern the world and regulations. Because at the end of the day, some people are wrong. Some people... It's not right. A lot of people isn't right, by the way. And, you know, some people have to be more governed and and guided. And they have to be dealt with in a different way than, than you or me or someone else because of their demons or their character or the, the way that they are, unfortunately. Um, but at the end of the day, when you're wrong, you're wrong. And you can't change that. And you can't try to change it. You can't try to make excuses for the things you've done or you didn't do. You just got to accept your life for what it is, period. And that's what it got to be. That's what it's going to be. That's what it have to be. So um, I want to say, Dame Dash, you, you, you keep your head up, my brother, and don't let these haters get you down. People that were your friend probably wasn't your friend. People that try to, you know, talk behind your back now and, and then at first they was it's just people are unloyal. Loyalty is royalty, period. You just keep your head up and those that are meant to be in your life will be. Those that aren't, you know, aren't. If you for, choose to, you know, forgive them or forget what they've done, then that's your decision. You know, sometimes people are mad at one another and they say something just to, to, you know, at that moment. But that doesn't mean that the relationship has to be broken at that time. It may be, you know, distant. But, you know, you have to make those decisions. Is, is this person worth being in my life again? Can I give them another chance? Should I give them another chance? That's up to you. This is your life. Nobody can't tell you how to live it. No one can tell you how to be, you You have to do that. And you got to make sure that you take care of yourself and don't let haters get in your way. It's DJ Nico.